Applied Mathematics 1 Lesson 3 Practical exercise on continuity of a function Did you know the continuity of a function when the limits are become continuity or discontinuous? Let me tell you here f of x root equals to 3 x root equals to 5 so this means f of x is continuous what about this one f of x which equals to 2 x square minus 5 x plus 3 x which equals to 1 put x the value here 1 f of 1 which must be 2 times 1 square minus 5 times 1 plus 3 which equals to 0 this is must be the polynomial function every polynomial function has continuous so the f of x is continuous Let's go to the applications of limits. You can use the theorem here. The limit x approaches to 0 sine x over x, which is called to 1, where x is in radians. Example, the limit x approaches to 0 sine 3x over x, and the limit x approaches to 0 3 sine times 3x over 3x, which is called to 3, limit x approaches to 0. So sine 3x over 3x must become 3 by using the theorem of application of limits rules limit x tends to 0 tan x over sin x limit x approaches to 0 tan x over x over sin x over x so the limit x approaches to 0 tan x over x over limit x approaches to 0 sin x over x which is equal to 1 over 1 which calls to 1 The word problems based on application of limits. Let's use the proof. The area A of a regular A-sided polygon inscribed in a circle of radius R is given by A which is equal to pi R squared cos 180 degree over N sine 180 degree over N. Using the fact that the circle is the limiting position of the polygon as M refers to infinity. Show that the area A of the circle is A which is equal to pi R squared. We can use the easiest way. A which is equal to at limit. N approaches to infinity. N R square cos 180 degree over N. Sine 180 degree over M. Which is equal to R square. Limit N approaches to infinity. N cos pi over N. Sine pi over M. R square limit. N approaches to infinity. Cos pi over M. N limit. N approaches to infinity. Sine pi over N over 1 over M. So r square times 1 times pi which is equal to pi r square. Let's go to the computation of e using the limit of a sequence. As we use it, the theorem here, the limit x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x, the power of x equals to e, and the limit x approaches to negative infinity 1 plus 1 over x, the power of x which equals to e. Let's take an example. Limit x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x the power of x plus 100 limit x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x the power of x plus 100 limit x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x the power of x limit x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x the power of 100 so e limit approach x approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over x the power of whole 100 which is equal to a this is all of about for the, the end of lesson about limits and continuity. Thanks.